Usually when I see homeless people, I just think like, why don't they just get a job? Why don't they just do something to change their situation? Why are they just there? And I'm not saying that all of them are victims, let's say, that have no ability to get out from the position that they're in. But from his perspective, he also differentiated from the ones that are real homeless people. He was calling some of them real homeless and some of them fake homeless. Remember? Which was super interesting. And I don't know if you want to touch on that a little bit, but I had never heard of real and then people actually faking it which was something we thought was i thought at first when when he said that i was like there's no way that the people actually do that yeah well that's why i want to have him on the podcast because i don't fully understand that point from what i do understand what he was saying was there are certain people that have homes they live inside but they don't work and they just act during the day they act as if they're homeless and they get money from different people yeah. and they take the benefits of kind of being homeless and then they go back and they actually live at home they have right. a home Right. And which is what I thought was a little bit, that's why I think once we have them on the podcast, we'll be able to break it down a little bit because in my head, I'm like, why wouldn't they just take welfare checks then going and begging minus 30, minus But do you know what degrees? welfare checks is? Do you even know what that is? Like, cause I don't. Well, like, welfare what do I, how do you qualify for a welfare check? I'm, that I'm not totally, I don't know exactly how you qualify, but I do know that it's, you get a certain amount of money per month. That's written to you. I don't know the exact numbers, obviously, you know, with COVID, but generally speaking, it's if you're below a uh, household, I don't know what the qualifications are, but I'm just thinking to myself. But like, it doesn't look like it, he's getting welfare checks. So I don't think that that's just something that everybody gets. Right. It could be different though, through, through state, through province, but I would assume, you know, the people that are, have homes would probably do that more. No, then... And I could be mistaken. Again, you know what I mean? I'm not the expert on, on that. Um, I don't know. I don't know. But I think what he was more saying is that like, if you at least have a home, then you're not homeless, right? If you don't even have a home, then you're homeless. Right. If you have a home, you should probably be looking at different opportunities than like a homeless person is. Yeah. I guess that's the point that he was trying to make, right? Yeah. Like if you're begging on the street for money, then you, you shouldn't necessarily have a home. Right? Isn't that the logic, I guess? That was kind of his logic. That was like, his logic, yeah. If you're begging on the street or something and taking money from other people as a homeless person, well, then you better be homeless. If you have a home, then you have different opportunities, right? Right. If you like this clip and you want to watch another one, click right here. And if you want to enter a chance to win an all-inclusive vacation for two people, click right here.